the road trek is a synchronous operation and it's like a well orchestrated dance a very good uh, analogy for it the vans are moved by the employees themselves the vans go through here you know in six days you know they come in the back door and leave here finished in six days all the way through the quality control process and ship to the marketplace and this is the first step in the making of a road trek. This is just a stripped down Sprinter van. It will soon become a road trek CS adventure. They bring it over and they strip it. What they're stripping is, is uh, the OEM, which is all stuff that's part of the vehicle, but we don't need that part in order to build it. ready to go to the next stage, which is cutting. The cutting is, is actually quite detailed. I mean, they can't be, they gotta be within the millimeter, because if they mess up a cut, they mess up the band. So these guys are quite good. So they can fit in all the stuff that we require for the vehicle. For example, the air conditioner, the antennas. They have to drill holes for, for the floor. You also have your outside shot shower box that they have to cut a hole for. So there's quite a bit of cutting involved. After cutting, it moves ahead approximately one vehicle length, and there we have guys ready for the wiring. They wire, they put wiring in there for anything that we put in. Yeah, there, there is a lot of wiring. There's um, at least three to four hours worth of wiring alone. We're probably talking about two and a half kilometers. Wine. Now the standard Mercedes windows have been removed. Uh, it arrived here at the factory with the windows taped up and covered up. Now Road Trek puts its own custom windows. They're special tinted uh, awning type windows that will open up for ventilation. That's the next step. A little lower. Perfect. It goes into the next stage, which it goes up on the hoist, and then they do all the cutting underneath. They put in most of the plumbing. So a lot of the plumbing will go in there, generator goes on in there. There's a lot of stuff that goes on underneath. That stage alone is a four hour job for two guys. We have about 260 employees right now at Road Trek. Uh, and you know, the expertise, the craftsmanship, uh, the team that puts it together is highly skilled experts at this. Some of them have decades of building road treks. Uh, they have years and years. Our average seniority is in the, in the 12 to 15 year range. Uh, and when I go out on the shop floor, I'm always you know, excited by how much these people know. It's what I call institutionalized knowledge. They know more about road treks and building class Bs than anybody in the world. Gary Klein, I've been here uh, about 16 and a half years now. Norm Smith, I've been at road truck for 19 years. My name is Bill Houghton. I've worked at Road Trek for 16 and a half years. It's Derek Stewart, I've been at Road Trek for 10 plus years. My name is uh, Andrew, I'm working 19 years in uh, Road Trek. My name is uh, Jimmy Kennedy, I've been at uh, Road Trek for about seven and a half years now. Hi, I'm Dave Kendall, I'm at Road Trek 25 years. My name's Rich Steeter, I've been here for 10 years. My name is Ted. I'm working in Homan, uh, Road Truck, 19 years. Hi, my name is Raz, I've been with Road Truck for 8 years. I'm Ray, I've been with Road Truck for 10 years. Hi, my name is Frank Kaspersak, I'm working for 25 years. The electrical is done now, we've got the air conditioner in, the awning in, all the holes have been cut, all of them have been caulked. Now comes something that is the ultimate test of this construction project so far, the water test. This is where the CS will be brought, and from here, well, think a typhoon, literally a typhoon being unleashed on this to make sure there are no leaks.
The vans will move up through the line just like a regular chassis. What we do here is we bring our sheet goods, raw material, raw wood in, uh, put it through the different machining processes, in through the different cabinet benches and work assembly areas where we actually produce the cabinetry work that goes into the chassis themselves. Once we, uh, once we get these cabinets all produced, uh, manufactured and uh, shipped over to the actual van, each cabinet is custom built for each uh, specific vehicle. Uh, once they're actually put into the vehicles, the vehicles uh, actually start to begin to look like an actual model. And this is where it starts to take shape and people really notice the difference and start to appreciate what we do here at Road Trek. Each of our cabinets is precisely fit. Uh, we do not have much room for air. production meeting to discuss the manufacturing process. Uh, we review any issues that have come up, we go through any problems that may have arise. We make sure that every vehicle is being built to the exacting standards required by Road Trek and our customers. Every step of the way the, the vehicle is monitored. Uh, we do testing for electrical, water, propane, everything that you can imagine. Many of the tests are done several times throughout the process. At the end of each significant process, we do another test of everything that was done in there and then everything gets signed off by actually two people. When the unit comes through, the unit is thoroughly tested. Uh, all facets, all tanks, all electrical systems, all LPG is tested and double tested and thoroughly checked for quality. In the final finishing area, we do the final options, which include the seating, uh, the appliances, such as the TV, the home theater, uh, the final checks to make sure all the stuff is in the unit, plus the cleaning and the detailing prior to shipment. The best part about working here is when you see a van leaving and it's sold and you know it's going to somebody and their life is changing. We're selling something to people that they want, that is a change agent in their life. It goes out and it allows them freedom. It allows them a new life that they haven't had before. And that's the best part about working here. It's exciting. And so it's done. Nine days, start to finish. The average is about six days for different road trek models, but uh, depending on the options, it can go a little longer. This one, nine days, start to finish. You remember what it was like? Just an empty shell when it first rolled into the factory. And now it's about ready to roll out this brand new road track. We'll be taking its new owner, well, on adventures. That's why they call it the CS Adventurous. Reporting from the Road Trek Factory in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, I'm Mike Wendland, road trekking across North America. Thanks for watching.